Are you coming to visit? Hello. Did you wake up from a nap? Hello. You're so cute. I love you too. <laughs> oh, big smiles and sneezes. Big smiles. Big smiles. <laughs> oh man. Dogs are Dogs are awesome. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a Ulta haul, first impressions, review on the items that I got. Um, the, my previous video, I'll link it up here so you guys can watch it, um, was an Ulta haul and I got quite a few items and I actually had a request to do a review and first impression of the items that I received. So I've actually um, used some of the items that I bought so it won't really be a first impressions but I'll give you guys like a review on those items. So it's a lot to go through. So in order for this video to not be like 45 minutes long, We'll go ahead and we will just get started. Um, but first, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you can see some more of these videos and don't forget to like it. And let's go ahead and get started. So the first item is the, um, I'm not gonna hold these items up by the way because I would have to go through my whole house to find everything and get stuff out of the bathtub and I just don't wanna do that. So what I'll do is I will post um, like little pictures on the side of me somewhere around here so that you guys can see the actual item that I received. Okay, so the first one is the uh, Neutrogena Makeup Remover Wipes. And these are just something that I've received before, so I don't really have a first impression of them, but I do love these wipes. They're always so moist and damp and they get a lot of the makeup off. And they always get like my um, eye makeup off as well. The next one is the Neutrogena Body Oil Light Sesame Formula. So this is just like a body oil, like it says, it goes on after the shower when your skin is still damp and not dry. So I just put it on right after I get out of the shower and it just kind of leaves my skin nice and soft and a little bit oily. Um, I don't really have super dry skin, so that's nice, um, but it just, it has a nice scent to it. So that's why I use it. And I don't use it all the time, just occasionally, but I do actually really like it. The next item is the Neutrogena Rain Bath Shower and Bath Gel. So I use this as my body wash and I like it a lot. It smells really good. It suds up real nice. So I put it on a, um, so I put it on a loofah um, and I just, I don't use too much, maybe like a medium amount of the product. And then I put it on a loofah and then I sort of um, just start washing and it actually suds up really nice. So um, some body washes you get like once you start like scrubbing, they don't really like suds up. And I don't really like that, but this stuff is really nice. It gets sudsy, it smells good. It doesn't leave my skin too dry. And yes, so my um, this item I haven't received before. So my first impression is that I do like it and I would definitely recommend it. And it's in a really big bottle. Um, it costs it costs a little bit, I think it was over $20. Um, actually here, let me get the price. Yeah, $23.99, but it's for like a huge 32 ounce bottle, so. Um, it's lasted me quite a while so far. Um, I've only gone through maybe like a fifth of the bottle, so I like it a lot. I'll definitely get it again as well. The next one is the Neutrogena Lip Moisturizer, and I've never received this item before. Um, and I just use it actually at nighttime, so it's on my bed stand. And I'll use it before I go to bed because we leave the fan on and it can leave, like, my lips get dry throughout the night. Um, so it's like just sort of a nice uh, nighttime lip moisturizer that I use. Um, yeah, <laughs> I can't really say too much about some of this stuff, but the next item is the MAC um, Prep and Prime Fix Plus. So this item I haven't used before either, um, so it's my first time. So first impressions, I do like it. It's the original, so it doesn't really have like too much of a scent to it, a little bit, but not too much. Um, so I use it sometimes to, um, like I'll get my brush, I'll put some eyeshadow on my brush and then I will spray the brush with Fix Plus and then that sort of like brings out the um, 
pigment and the sparkles um, in the eyeshadow a little bit more, so sometimes I'll use it for that. I'll also use it as a setting spray occasionally. Um, I haven't used too much of it, but so far it's it's pretty good. I mean, it does what everybody has says it does, and everybody loves it, so. The next one is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay in Place Foundation. I use this stuff all the time. It's probably my fifth bottle. Um, it's just, it's my favorite foundation. Excuse me. I haven't been able to find a foundation that is good for my skin, just like the Estee Lauder is. Um, I've tried, I feel like I've tried so many. Um, I've even tried that Tarte uh, Shape Tape Foundation, and that stuff for me was absolutely terrible. I have oily skin, I would say, and I even bought the matte stuff, and the matte did nothing for my skin. I was just oily as crud, and it would like move around throughout the day and just become real blotchy, and ugh, that stuff wasn't good. But <laughs> anyway, the Estee Lauder, always my favorite. It's a staple. It's my go-to. It's my ride or die, if you want to say that. Um, I will just continue to buy it. And it's really cool because they finally came out with their own pump for it. Like, yeah, you have to buy the pump separately, but you can just keep reusing it. I was buying the MAC foundation pump, and it works just fine, but it's nice to just have it, you know, be that brand and be for that specific purpose. <sighs> My voice is so tight and tired. Have you guys ever tried these Yeti coolers? They're my favorite. They keep your drink ice cold or really hot throughout the day and it's just, it's a really great cup for water. I love it. Okay, next product is the e.l.f. Cosmetics Ultimate Blending Brush. I have only used this, I think, once or twice. And I've used it for my bronzer. And it works fine. It's nice and soft and picks up product and uh, I don't know what else to say about it. But for $6, I mean, it's really, you can't beat it. So it, it works really well. Okay, so some of these... I actually haven't had a chance to try yet. And this is one of them. It's the Dose of Colors Matte Liquid Lipstick in the color Talk is Chic. It's like a cool berry red color. So I've heard a lot of good things about Dose of Colors um, matte lipsticks, but I just haven't had a chance to use it yet. I really haven't had very many places to go where I'm wearing a full face of makeup. I mean, I've just been to work and at work, I don't really wear too much makeup. I just wear the standard foundation, blush, mascara, um, and then like a little bit of lip gloss. Um, pretty much like what I'm wearing right now. Um, I'm not wearing, I didn't fill in my eyebrows and I don't do that at work. So anyway, the dose of colors, I really still want to use it. I've heard good things. I heard that they last long and that they're not smearing. Um, they're not very drying so I'm looking forward to using that so unfortunately I can't give you guys a review or first impressions on that one next is the real techniques miracle complexion sponge um I'm sure plenty of you guys have used this um, beauty sponge it's it's great I use it damp um, for my foundation and for my concealer sometimes I also use it for powder um, and I mean, it's it's really good. It's nice and soft. It's not too stiff. It gets real squishy, and that's what I like. And it doesn't stop. Next is the Not Your Mother's Repair and Protect Leave-In Conditioner. So this is a first time for me, so I'll give you my first impressions. I bought it because the reviews were good and because I wanted to try a different leave-in conditioner. Um, I was using the It's a 10 Miracle Leave-In Conditioner or something like that. And that stuff is just great. It's a little bit pricey. I mean, you don't have to buy it too often, so that's good, but it is a little bit pricey, but I loved it. The smell was fantastic. It was good at detangling. It was good at sort of, um, like I didn't have a lot of breakage and I just, I liked it, but I wanted to try something different. So the Not Your Mother's is, it smells really nice, but I think it's having a hard time detangling my hair. Um, that's just what I've seen so far. I've been using it ever since I got it. So whenever that last video came out, um, I don't know, it must have been like three weeks ago already. So I think that it's good for the price. Um, 
will I buy it again? Maybe, because it does smell really nice. Like that smell is kind of, you know, making me gravitate towards it. So it may not be doing as much as the It's a 10, but that's okay because it's way more inexpensive. Um, but I may buy it again. I'm not sure yet. We'll see. But if you're looking for an inexpensive alternative, I would say that the Not Your Mother's is pretty good. I've been on like a Jersey Shore binge lately because the new season is coming out in a few days and I've been re-watching them. So I'm like, let's get through the video so I can watch more episodes. I can't... <laughs> that series is just so crazy. Like, <clears throat> I don't think they ever expected it to be as big as it was when it first came out. But it's just those people are equally crazy as they are hilarious. It's just, it's one of those shows where you just sit down and watch it and it's sort of just mind numbing, like, right? Sometimes you need that. Anyway, okay. Next is the Aquage Uplifting Foam. So I first heard about this quite a while ago and I used it once and I liked it. Um, and then I just, I don't know, didn't buy another bottle. So I stopped using it. So I bought another one and I don't know, it's probably that I don't know how to use the stuff because every time I, so like I'll spray it in my roots, I'll comb it through, and then when I dry my hair, my hair gets real um, sticky kind of and a little bit oily. Um, it does do its job at first and it does uplift my hair and it gives it more volume but I feel like I'm just not using it correctly. So if you have suggestions on how to use this product, let me know down in the comments. It would really help because I feel like it's just not doing what it's ultimately supposed to do. You know what I mean? So I think that I just need to sort of change how I'm applying it maybe, I'm not sure. But yeah, let me know down in the comments if you have any suggestions for that product. Next is the Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. So this stuff I absolutely love. I don't wear liquid eyeliner too often, um, but when I did, I would I would use, let's see, I used the BH Cosmetics, I used the um, Sigma, and let's see, I think I used NYX as well, um, NYX or whatever. But this stuff just does not compare. I mean, it's so, so good. And for, let's see, $22, it's, it's not that bad. But it's just so simple. I loved it. So I actually have only used it once. Hello, are you coming to visit? Hello, did you wake up from a nap? Hello, you're so cute, I love you too. <laughs> oh, big smiles and sneezes. Big smiles. Big smiles. <laughs> oh man. Dogs are... Dogs are awesome. I don't know how some people just don't like dogs. Especially dachshunds. They're like endless laughs. They are just hilarious creatures. Huh oh, guys? Huh? Huh oh, guys? They're so funny, Bee. They're a good boy. Okay, I totally forgot where I was. Um, okay, so the waterproof liquid eyeliner, yes. It's so simple to use and it's just, I don't know, I mean that's all that I can really say about it. It's like one swipe up for your wing and then sort of drag it over your eyelid and you're good to go. It's just like, it's hard to make a mistake with this stuff. I'm not sure, it's just, it's great. I heard that the Stila and the Kat Von D liquid eyeliner are both really, really good. So I'm so excited that I bought this finally because anytime I try and do my eyeliner, I always mess it up. And I feel like with this stuff, it's so hard to do that. So I definitely recommend it at $22. It's, you know, a little pricey, obviously more expensive than NYX um, and what all the other ones, BH Cosmetics. But I would say that it's worth it. And yeah. <laughs> That's my first impression slash review on that one. The next one is the MAC Pro Longwear Paint Pot in the color Soft Okra. So this stuff I've only used once as well. And it's another one where I feel like I need to sort of learn how to use because I applied it first with, how did I apply it? 
I think I applied it first with a brush, um, like a flat um, shader brush. And it just, to me, looked real blotchy and it sort of didn't go on very well. Um, and then I started to use my finger and sort of like dab it onto the eyelid. And that was like the same way. It just didn't really like go on as well as I've seen it go on other people. So I think that's another one that I need help with. Um, I'm not a professional, obviously. You know, we all need help somewhere in the makeup world. But yeah, so the, the paint pot. It's supposed to be like a base for your eyeshadow. So you, you know, put it on first and then put on some powder to sort of set it and then you're good to go, you need, you know, to start your eyeshadow. Um, but when I applied it, it was just real blotchy. I don't know, it just didn't look too good on me. So I think I need some suggestions on how to apply that stuff as well. So first impressions, it's probably just user error. <laughs> Next is the MAC lipstick in the color Velvet Teddy. So I got the little size and it was only 10 bucks, but I love this stuff. I think it looks okay on my skin tone. It's probably not the greatest for my skin tone, but I, I like it. And it lasts a really long time. Like it's not even a liquid lipstick, it's just regular lipstick and you can eat and you can drink and it comes off a little bit, but not at all like noticeable so you can still go on throughout the day throughout the day and probably only have to apply it i don't know once it's great so i love the the staying powder i love the staying power of the mac lipstick um it's actually my first mac lipstick which is crazy um i've heard a lot of good stuff about their brand and their brand of lipstick and so I'm glad that I got it. It's it's great. So first impression, I would recommend it. If you're not sure what to go with, just go ahead and get the Velvet Teddy, the little one. It's only 10 bucks, so you can try it and not feel bad if you don't like it. So the Redken texturing paste, that's my husband, so I'm not really gonna go over that. He likes it. Um, the Body Shop Tea Tree Face Mask. So this was... I paid $10.20 because I got it for the buy one, get one 40% off, but I use it occasionally. Um, I need to use it more often, but it's a, um, it's a mask. So you wash your face, you put the mask on for about 10 to 15 minutes. Um, it's like a tea tree, so you can feel it tingling and you can feel it working on your skin and doing its job. I really like it as a mask. It's great. Next is the Body Shop Coconut Body Butter. This stuff, I mean... It's body butter, so I can't really say too much about it. It smells nice. It leaves your skin feeling nice and soft. I don't have overly dry skin, so I think that the purpose of this stuff was for overly dry skin, um, so I don't use it that often, but I'll use it on Okay, so my camera is a butt head, and it likes to turn off on me in the middle of filming sometimes. So if you noticed a change in like my position or lighting or anything, uh, that's the reason why. So lame. But anyway, I remember where I was at, which is not always the case, but the coconut body butter. So I don't have overly dry skin. Um, I just use it occasionally on my hands. I usually use it on my belly sometimes because I feel like my belly gets dry, which is like a little awkward. <laughs> but um, yeah, I mean, I recommend it. It's it's a nice body butter. It's thick, it smells good, it makes your skin soft. The Batiste dry shampoos, there's not much to say about those. I've used them before. The rose gold smells really nice. Um, they pretty much get the job done. They're inexpensive, so if you're looking for a good dry shampoo, I like that one. Okay, the Clinique Chubby Stick, uh, let's see. The Clinique Chubby Stick Sculpting Contour. So this one is interesting for me. I've only used it once, or at least attempted to try to use it. Um, what happened was when I went to go blend it out, it was picking up all of the product, and then it was also picking up my makeup as well. So it was leaving behind like a streak of like nothingness. So this is another one where I need to learn how to apply it because obviously, if that was happening with everybody, then the product would be like non-existent. <laughs> so I think that I need to sort of Google how to do a cream contour because I've never done it before, um, how to blend. 
how to make sure that it doesn't sort of come up with that that product so i didn't actually look it up um and some of the people were saying that you might have like too much foundation and powder and concealer on so when you go to apply the cream and you blend it out it's picking up all that product all that stuff that's already on your face um also, somebody else said to make sure that you're moisturizing greatly, so use a lot of moisturizer. That way, when you sort of blend it, it's already kind of smooth. It's not going to pick up any product on dry skin. So, don't have a first impression on that one. I'm sure it's great. Um, however, for me, I wasn't able to apply it correctly, so I can't really give you guys a good review on it. Um, the Becca by Chrissy Teigen um, highlighting palette, whatever it's called, it's got a um, bronzer, it has highlighter, it has a um, blush in it. So as far as the bronzer and the blush go, I really love those colors. The bronzer is perfect for my skin tone, the blush is a perfect shade of pink for my skin tone. I almost wear them every day, I love them together. So the highlighter is a different story. I feel like the two colors in the palette are too dark on my skin. So when I apply them, they don't really look great, I guess. Um, I'm actually wearing the highlighter on my cheeks right now. Um, I just kind of wish that it was brighter for my skin tone. So that kind of stinks because the whole reason why I bought it was because it was like a um, palette that had three in one, I guess, so to speak. Um, but what I was really going for was a highlighter. So I guess I should have just stuck with the um, champagne pop like everybody gets. So maybe one of these days I'll buy the champagne pop. But as for the Chrissy Teigen by Becca palette, um, I like the bronzer and I like the blush. But the highlighter, I could probably do without. It just, for me, doesn't really work that great. But I do like those colors though. <sighs> okay, guys. Last but not least, hopefully my camera sticks with me, is the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. Um, not much to say about that either. I do really like it. It keeps your brows in place. It keeps the color intact. And I, I mean, it works. It does its job and I like it. So I definitely would recommend that as well. And that one is $22. So if you're looking just for like a basic clear brow gel, you probably don't need that. You probably could get a good one at the drugstore. But I wanted to try it, of course, because so many people have recommended it and I'm big on things that people have tried and reviewed as positive. So I like it. Okay, now that I'm like practically out of breath. <laughs> oh my gosh, okay, that's it guys. I do hope you enjoyed this. I'm sorry that I've been away for a while. I say that over and over again. I sound like a broken record. Um, but I promise I will keep trying to do videos for you guys. I really do enjoy it. It's just the time to sit down and do it for you. So hopefully we'll keep going. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for sticking with me. And if you liked this video, don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys later. Bye.